modular arithmetic we will apply modular arithmetic on figuring out the days or what day uh, is it in a week if you are new into congruence modulo and arithmetic my advice to you is to remember these statements these statements are equivalent a is congruent to r modulo n if and only if a minus r divided by n is q. So this means n divides a minus r exactly. It leaves no remainder. Or or you can look at or you can look at modulo and arithmetic in this way. This is your your Euclidean division theorem. A is congruent to R modulo N if and only if, look at that, R is the remainder when you divide A by N. And R can be any of these values, 0, 1, 2, so on and so forth, up to N minus 1. When we do counting in the set of integers, starting, let's say, for example, from 0, we just add 1, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, so on and so forth, and we go on to a positive infinity. But not so with, with the set of integers that arise from modulo 2 arithmetic, okay? Modulo 2 arithmetic. So with modulo 2, okay, we begin with 0. After zero, it's one. Now two, we don't count two as two. We count two as zero again. Because when we divide two by two, the remainder is zero. Three is one. Four is zero again, so on and so forth. So the integers that are, uh, that are contained in C sub two is zero and one. So something similar happens with with z sub 3, these are the integers that appear as a result of modulo 3 arithmetic. So the remainders can be 0, 1, and 2. So this is how we do counting. So the difference between the set of integers and the set of integers that appear as a result of modulo n arithmetic is with the set of integers, we go on counting up to infinity. But with modulo and arithmetic, our counting is cyclic. There is a cycle to it. Just like with how we name or we assign the day to the days of the week. Okay, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. And then after Sunday, we begin with Monday again. So if we were to give this... If you were to give these days an integer value, okay, Monday is 1, so we go on counting up to Sunday. We can look at Sunday as day 0, and then we begin counting again, 1, 2, 3, and 1 again stands for Monday, 2 stands for Tuesday, so on and so forth. Okay, so let us apply modulo and arithmetic to some problems connected with knowing the days of the week. If day 1 is Monday, what day of the week is day 26? If we don't know modulo and arithmetic, okay, and this is how I will do it. Starting from Monday, I will add 7 days. And after 7 days, it's going to be Monday again. I will add another 7 days, another 7 days. It's going to be Monday again, but it's going to be day 22. So, to get to day 26, I will just add four more days. And obviously, it's going to be Friday. But we don't have to do it that way. Uh, we can do it using modulo and arithmetic. 26 is congruent to 5 modulo 7 because, because 26 divided by... 7 is equal to 3, and we have a remainder of, of 5. This is our remainder, and we understand uh, 5 to mean day 5 of the week, and day 5 of the week is a Friday. 
So the 26th day, if one is a Monday, is Friday. If today is Friday, what is the day 106 from now? If today is Friday, what is the day 106 from now? So, so Friday is our day 5 and we will add 106 days. What is that congruent to under modulo 7? So what we do is we add 5 plus 106 is 111. And then when we divide 111 by 7. Okay, let's do it. We have a remainder of 6. So 111 is congruent to 6 modulo 7. And 6 is a Saturday. So it's going to be Saturday. If today is Friday, 106 from today is going to be a Saturday. If today is Friday, what day was 37 days ago? So this is what we do. Again, we assign 5 to Friday and then we subtract. Okay, so I'm using a different notation here. So 5 minus 37, what is that congruent to modulo 7? Okay, so 5 minus 37 is negative 32. What is that congruent to under uh, modulo 7 arithmetic? Okay, so what you do is you do ordinary. Okay, let us ignore the sign first. Let us ignore the sign first. So 32 divided by 7. This is equal to 4. This is... But this is negative. So that means this one, this R here, is negative 4. This is not yet the R that we are looking for. Because the R that we are looking for should be any of these integers. 0, 1. So what is negative 4 congruent to modulo 7? Which of this is congruent to negative 4? Okay, so this is what you can do. We know that 7 is congruent to 0 modulo 7. So we shall now use your additive uh, property of uh, congruence uh, arithmetic. Negative 4 plus 7 is congruent to x, whatever it is, plus 0 modulo 7. This is 3. And x plus 0 is just x. So that's it. X is congruent to 3 modulo 7. And 3 is a Wednesday. So if today is Friday, 37 days ago, it was a Wednesday. I am assuming that we are doing the modulo and arithmetic during an ordinary year. You know what? We have such a thing as a leap year and an ordinary year. An ordinary year has 365 days. A leap year has uh, 366 days. So it has an extra day. And we add that day in February. That extra day is what we call February 29. So if you were to do these exercises during the leap year, and the leap years are... 2016, 2020, it happens every four years. You will adjust your, your arithmetic, okay? So when your movement in the days will pass, okay, will pass 29, you will have to do some adjustments. You know, these kinds of problems usually appear during math quiz contest. Uh, who knows? Maybe you will find yourself uh, a contestant in one of those uh, contests uh, one of these days.